Goddess Kring Radio. Shannon Kringen. Goddess Kring. Shannon Kringen. Goddess Kring. Okay, so this is Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen. This is podcast number five. It is now November of 2016. As I'm recording this, this is going to air on November 17th to be exact. And let me just say, um, my throat is bothering me and I'm not sure if I have an allergy or if I'm actually ill. So I'm not really feeling all that well. So tonight on on the show or this afternoon or whatever time of day or night it is for you, (laughs) as I'm recording this, it's nighttime. I just took a a shower. I'm in my PJs. No, actually, I'm naked. Hey, everybody, I'm naked. But to tell you the truth, I'm in my bathrobe with a towel on my head because I just washed my hair. So it's a cold, rainy night. Well, I love a rainy night. Love a rainy night. Love a rainy night. And my ritual is I hop in the shower And I don't turn my electric heat on too much because I don't want a big electric bill. So I take a nice hot shower. I put my electric blanket on my bed and turn it up. And I throw my pajamas in the dryer. I have my own washer and dryer, which which is an amazing luxury. I'm just renting an apartment, but my landlord is wonderful enough to have a washer and dryer in all of our units for us, which is pretty amazing and unusual. I have my own parking space and I have a really good deal on rent and I have an even better deal on rent now because of some magical waiting list I was on and now I have been one of the lucky ones. I have good credit but I'm low income so I'm in a really good position. So basically I throw my pajamas in the in the dryer and then I grab them out of there when they're still nice and, and warm. My favorite thing is to put warm socks on my cold feet. So I'm not really feeling all that great. My throat's a little sore and uh, scratchy. I have been working pretty much seven days a week. I'm a bit of a workaholic, mostly modeling for medical students and art students. And I am exhausted. And I, uh, I was going to talk about women's issues and sexuality and nudism and naturism, uh, what it's like to be a nude model, maybe talk about uh, shaming women for being sexual versus shaming women for not being sexual, um, what it is to be a real feminist. Um, There's so many topics, the whole like bizarre reality that we live in now with the president that we have here in the United States. Donald Trump, hard to believe that's even true, that's even real, bizarre, frightening to see all the anger being stirred up and all of the fear and prejudice and what it what it is to be prejudiced and to label people and judge people. And I find myself judging people for judging people. So therefore, I'm judging as well, although I think that's a smarter way to judge. But tonight, I am going to play... Um, a live clip of me performing at Chop Suey when, when Claxton Kent and I opened for Space Lady in 2014 in the spring. We also got to play a show at Cafe Racer, but I don't have a recording of that from 2014. And I'm going to, last week I played a bunch of tracks. If you go to goddesscring.bandcamp.com, you can hear for free and you can download for free. I'm also a big fan. Actually, I was going to say the music that um, Claxton Kent made. Go to Bandcamp, claxtonkent.bandcamp.com. And his music is free. And Goddess Kring music is also free. So go ahead and listen to me, Claxton Kent, Goddess Kring at Chop Suey from the spring of 2014. And this is about a 20-something minute clip, and then I will talk some more after that. So welcome to Shani Kring and Goddess Kring. And I was going to say, I offer my photos free to publish under Creative Commons license. There's a thing called free culture. You know how some people are very into copywriting everything they do, whether it's music or visual art. And that's fine if that's what some people want to do. But for me, I feel more comfortable And I kind of almost like to rebel against the sort of ultra commercial capitalist society that we live in where everything is for sale and for profit. 
it's nice to have some things that we just share freely, like, you know, what do you call that? Like uh, Linux or, you know, code online that people share. And the fact that you can upload videos to YouTube and you just freely share them and, you know, your own original content is what I'm talking about here. And so I offer my music and this radio podcast show for free, as well as my photography for free. So I am a firm believer in freely sharing creativity. I'm also a believer in artists getting paid for their work. That's totally fine too. I was also going to maybe sometime, if I can slow down and relax enough, I was going to maybe talk about why I really appreciate Amanda Palmer I don't really love her music, although I like her passion and her theatrical way of performing. I have seen her live with Jason Webley here in Seattle at the Moore Theater. That was a cool show, and Neil Gaiman was there. Pretty magical. Uh, I have, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh boy, my throat is really bothering me. I wonder if this is an allergy or if I'm ill. So I just have a weird throat thing going on right now, but uh, my throat feels dry and scratchy. And um, my friend said, take allergy meds and see if you feel any better. And you know, like antihistamine and see. Um, but also I think it's good to eat a lot of ginger and echinacea and garlic and get a lot of sleep and drink a lot of water and take vitamin C. So free culture. Um, sometime when I'm not so busy, I will talk about Amanda Palmer and her book, The Art of Asking, which is actually a bestseller, so I probably don't even need to mention it. I mean, that's how popular the book is. But she's kind of an amazing person. I think she's very, 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 very intelligent. And I like her message about the art of asking, freely asking for what you want. And people can, you know, judge it or not. Um, but I think, you know, like, you know, shave your armpits or don't. You know, ask if you're an artist and you want to give your work away for free, then do that. If you're an artist that wants to copyright your work and charge for it, then do that. And if you're somewhere in between, then do that. And so like I support myself um, as a model for artists and medical people, and I'm able to fully pay all of my bills with my full time freelance work in that way. And I've been hired as a photographer and I've been hired as a body painter and a performer and various things. But mostly my art I do for free. And there's total freedom in that. I guess that's the dilemma that artists have is in order to make art that sells, you might have to compromise it and make it marketable or saleable. And then your heart's not in it. Or you can make what you really want, but nobody cares and nobody wants it. Or I guess the most amazingly wonderful lucky artists are the ones that happen to make something that people want to buy or that, you know, people want to donate so that you can focus your life on making your art. I've never, <laughs> excuse me, I have a cough. I've never fully tried to make a full-time living with my art. And that's not really my goal at this point. I'm 48 years old and I'm thinking, I went to graphic design school, uh, but I've never really pursued that professionally either. I sort of fell into figure modeling because I wanted to earn a living and I used to take drawing classes and try to draw the model. I'm really good at matching color realistically when I paint, but I'm not really um, amazingly talented at realistic drawing and I also just don't even enjoy it. I know that if I practiced, I could get good at it. You know, I watch people draw me all the time and they do amazing drawings, whether they're realistic or stylized or abstract, or actually childlike. Some of my favorite drawings and paintings of me are the ones that kids have done or teenagers have done. Pretty amazing stuff. I also like it when people capture me in a realistic way, especially if they sort of maybe make me look a little more perfect than I actually look. But then again, realism is good too. So I was going to say I got into modeling because it pays and because I get to be around artists and sort of collaborate with artists by being the model. So I'm still connected to creative energy and a nice learning environment. Um, and then I can do my art the way I want to do it. And then I just put it on my website and share it for free. And I've done open mic, you know, spoken word poetry. And I've performed. And I was in Carlotta's Late Night Wingding here in Seattle. And I was an extra in a film called American Heart in the early 90s. Got to meet Jeff Bridges, the actor really nice guy, really handsome, nice guy. So I'm in a book called Weird Washington, and I'm a hero, not a villain. 
And what was I going to say? I don't know. I've done all kinds of interesting things, but right now I'm feeling really tired and uh, my throat really hurts. And I've been working nonstop, like pretty much seven days a week, modeling with art students again and medical students. And so, and just doing lots of errands. And I am in a support group, kind of a, a therapeutic class support group skills for dealing with depression and anxiety and various uh, OCD type issues. And so I'm really, really busy doing all that stuff and transitioning, getting even an even better deal on my rent, which is so amazing. My landlord gave me the green light for that. I was on a waiting list for two years and I have an amazing opportunity to continue living in the apartment that I love with a washer dryer and free parking and um, just a quiet, safe space for me and my cat. And I do have a boyfriend. Uh, who knows, maybe he and I <clears throat> will live together someday. But for right now, I'm very happy maintaining my own space. And then we just visit each other a few times a week and um, spend holidays together. And I might even go to Santa Barbara and take a little mini vacation because I have frequent flyer miles and relatives that invited me. So I'm just sharing some personal stuff right now. So this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. And so tonight, listen to Claxton Kent and me performing at Chop Suey from 2014. And then I'm not sure what's after that. I will figure it out. So please write me with questions or comments. I, I haven't gotten too many comments about this show yet. So if you're listening... Hey, you know, let me know. Let me know if you want, uh, if there's certain topics you would like me to, to talk about or more music you want me to share. I have instrumental piano music I might share, but man, my throat's bugging me, so I need to get some rest. So now enjoy the music. So here you go. More Goddess Kring for you. Thanks for tuning in. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Goddess Kring. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here. the cactus 
touch the cactus lamp Human-like fingernails clicking rails Human-like fingernails clicking rails Four seated flight Turquoise lavender light Four seated flight Turquoise lavender light Introverted extrovert Touch the cactus lamp Introverted extrovert Touch the cactus lamp Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot for being here. I'm really happy and um, grateful that I'm here. This is a really fun experience. Spiral drive, wind song spiral drive, wind song spiral drive. Wind song spiral drive, wind song spiral drive, wind song spiral drive. Bada boo, bada bing, stinging rings the cream. Catch the wind song spiral drive. Crack the code left and right. No. I wander and I wander, tripping over grasshoppers, moon haulers, key robbers. Enchanted land, smoky hands, rough and cracked. Take the sand and stand alone. Spiral drive, winds on spiral drive, winds on spiral drive. 
My friend from Portland, Claxton Kent, and he's a very <laughs> talented guy. I love working with him. We just started working together a few months ago, actually. And I don't know if you guys know, he had a, a public access. I had the public access show Goddess Kring for 15 years every week. And he had a really cool show called Von Hummer, which was on in Portland, but it was also here in Seattle. Have you any, any of you guys seen Von Hummer? He had like lobster. You, like, yeah, people called him Lobster Guy, and he played really cool music, and he had like this cool like mask, and so he was sort of in Portland, the equivalent to Goddess Kring, I think, sort of a Goddess Kring, and so the fact that we met because of public access, and now we're doing music together is like magical. So thank you for being here, Claxton. <laughs> and he, he does his own music too. If you go to claxtonkent.com, you hear his really cool, really cool music. It's really cool. Very unique because he has like this bass guitar that he plays in a right. You're playing it like a, he's yeah he's playing a bass guitar like a regular guitar in his own kind of unique way. It's really nice. mm -hmm. it's carrot. Carrot. Thank you. 
That was fun because that was mostly improv. Like that was like, yeah, improv is my favorite, I guess. <laughs> now I'm gonna do a cover song because Tom Petty, <laughs> I like to say Tom Petty widens my jetty. He's, Tom Petty is like my favorite songwriter in the world and I have a huge crush on him since I was 11 years old and I still have a crush on him. Now he's like 64 and he's still a gorgeous man and beautiful songwriter. I'm gonna cover one of his songs. Take you on a moonlight ride. There's someone I used to know. <laughs> Sorry. There's someone I used to see. He don't give a damn for me. Let's get to the point. Let's roll another joint. Turn the rain. Loud. I'm too alone to be proud You don't know how it feels You don't know how it feels You don't know how it feels To be me People come, people go, some grow young, some grow cold. I woke up in between a memory and a dream. So let's get to the point, let's roll. Another joint, let's head on down the road. There's somewhere I gotta go. You don't know how it feels. You don't know how it feels. No, you don't know how it feels to be. trying to beat the clock think of me what you will I got a little space to fill so let's get to the point let's roll another joint
Thank you very much. so much and we have CDs if you're interested like five dollar CDs of six tracks that we made together synchronicity so thank you for being here I have a wonderful night yay space lady is so cool I love her yes thank you can I just say one thing um, Claxton and I are we've been invited to play at the cafe racer on April 12th we're gonna do a full three hours of our own stuff, uh, me, him, separate and together. Three hours at the Cafe Racer, April 12th. Thank you. Bye. Goddess Kring Radio, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. So I hope you enjoyed that live Chop Suey show of Claxton Kent and Goddess Kring. And next up, since my throat is bothering me, forgive me everybody, I'm going to play, there's a local legend here in Seattle, in addition to me, Goddess Kring, there's Howlin' Hobbit. How many of you have heard of Howlin' Hobbit? He wrote a song called Goddess Kring. If you go to howlinhobbit.bandcamp.com, you can listen to his music and download his music for free. So here's Goddess Kring by Howlin' Hobbit. Check it out. I am honored and happy and flattered that somebody such as Helen Hobbit, wrote a song about my public access TV show, Goddess Kring. Here we go. Think I'm in love with the Goddess Kring, cause every week on my TV screen, she shows me everything, sets my heart a whirl, she's all natural, that's why I'm in love with the Goddess Kring. With the goddess cream The awesome times when she paints the breast The awesome times when she paints the red She brings my life such zest She's her own canvas That's what I like best That's why I'm in love with the goddess cream With the goddess cream Sometimes you think the girl has got a lot to say Sometimes you think she just ain't right It was a real hard time for me When I found her on my TV And she helped me make it through some lonely nights So here's a toast to the goddess queen And all the boys whose great joy she brings Straight from the TV screen She says it's alright Touch yourself tonight That's why I'm in love with the goddess queen With the goddess queen
with the goddess cream, with the goddess cream. Goddess Kring Radio, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. Sail the bright star, the bright star, sail the bright star, the bright star, spiraling out of denial and into fire, into light. Passion flower off that tower, that needing water, sea, bright star, bright star, spiral, circles, circular, spiraling starlight, bright circles, breathing in unison, spiraling out of denial and into fire, into light. The D to Proceed, to proceed, planting seed, planting seed at light speed, at light speed. gaining light, light, a healthy light, flight, a healthy flight for freedom and for embracing grace, and embracing moonshine faith, and, and just um, and just um, meditate the situation, the situation, levitate, levitate the mediation, levitate, the mediation, the mediation the celebrate the penetration, the penetration, alleviate the nation, the nation, the nation, sail the bright star, the bright star, far. Through, through many the circles, many the circles. Stellar. stellar, sailing fella. Sailing fella. I love to smell you. I love to smell you. So, so kind of tripping out on my so words in my journal right now. Journal trying right now. to find trying this, to the peace in the center within me. Center within me. Center within me. Center within me. My name is Shannon Kringen, and you are watching Goddess Kring. The reason I call myself Goddess Kring is because some think that it's an egotistical, narcissistic thing, like worship me, I'm a goddess, look at me, put me up on a pedestal. But that's actually not, 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 not what I'm trying to communicate when I say Goddess Kring. I think I should actually spell it goddess, like G-O-D-U-S, God, us, us, God, me, myself, and I, God, you, God, God, us, is like tapping into the sacred within me and honoring that. And some spiritual people or religious people um, seem to think that if you call yourself a god or goddess, that it's an arrogant thing or that it's um, minimizing um, the power of God or, you know, whatever you want to call science or spiritual, uh, creative energy that creates the universe and mother nature and the ecosystem. See, to me, that's what God is. God is science. God and science are exactly the same thing to me. Evolution, uh, and the ecosystem and God and spirituality is all the same to me. Uh, so whatever science and spirituality agree upon is truth to me and anything else is just superstition or something we don't really know you know so whatever is true about god is also true about science that's that's my own personal feeling and it's it's similar to science of mind um philosophies which i mostly agree with and so i call myself goddess kring because my name is kringen and kring is a, a nickname a short version of kringen kring kringen and so goddess is like um religious people sometimes think that it's arrogant to call yourself a god or goddess or think of yourself as amazing as god but I think that that makes us um, rise to a higher standard, which is a good thing. So if we think of ourselves as sacred beings, God or goddess, then it's like we, we, we owe it to ourselves and to the world to act in a high manner, to act in a positive life-affirming manner um, that doesn't harm life and affirms life and beauty and the sacredness of the plants and the animals and the planet Earth and the ecosystem. And if we think of ourselves in that way, instead of it being an arrogant thing, it is a humble thing. It's actually a, you know, you feel um, like you, you're supposed to take care of the Earth and take care of other people and love people and have compassion. And to me, that is like what being a goddess is, is to think about how connected I am as a human being to plants, animals, other human beings, other countries, other cultures, music, art, dance, theater, science, um, all of the things 
in the world, different cultures and how we all get along or how we all fight. Um, so to me, if more people thought of themselves as gods or goddesses, it would lessen the violence in the world. Because if you see your, to me, being spiritual is that you feel connected to the atmosphere around you, the plants, the animals, other human beings. Therefore, if you go around hurting other people, you're really hurting yourself. And if you go around loving yourself and loving others, it, you know, it all comes back. So if I love another person, it, it helps me love myself more. And if I love myself, it helps me love other people. And then if I hate myself, that helps me create more conflict with others. And if I hate other people or plants or animals, that helps more hatred come. So to me, being spiritual and being a god or goddess is about seeing that you're connected to that which is beyond yourself. Therefore, you owe it to yourself it's in your own best self-interest, actually, to take good care of other people because it helps the self. So that's why I call myself Goddess Kring, because I actually think that deep down within each human being is a sacred god or goddess. That's how I see it. So when I hear music, I see shapes and they move. And when I have been physical with a man that I feel a deep connection with, sexually as well as emotionally and spiritually and mentally all the different levels I feel like we're dancing and he's he's got his energy I have my energy and then when you combine me and this other person together we create a, a third energy like a new energy and it's a space that we're creating together the, the male and the female me and the man and it, I guess that's kind of what Tantra is and it's like you're dancing with your energy and you respond to his energy and he responds to your energy. And that's what this woman last night when I did the reading, had her do a reading for me. She was saying that I need to find someone that evokes a response from me. Because it's true, in the past I've sometimes chased after men that weren't really, um, they, well, maybe they wanted to have sex with me, but they weren't really there in all the other ways and so it's like I want to find somebody that's that's passionate that and in order to do that I, I know I need to be more passionate myself and love myself and really come forth and shine my light and so she suggested I dance that I go to like open dance sessions or dance classes and just dance and dance with men and or dance with myself with other people but dance and just move and dance and enjoy the energy of my body other people's bodies and just see what it feels like to be kind of a sensual dancing person um, but not rush into sleeping with anybody you know and because I think I do need to take a break from really getting involved with somebody sexually although I really want to find a wonderful lover um, but I might not be ready because I just got out of I just a two-year relationship I was in ended and it was kind of sad but I think it's all for the better I don't want to go into the details but um, I do want to eventually have another relationship in my life but I really want to be more conscious this time of making sure that I connect with whoever it is I'm going to be involved with monogamously um, body mind heart and soul instead of just one or the other um, so I think dance is one of the ways in which to do that and to just have dinner with people and like, you know, just have dinner, walk and talk and share, but not rush into getting involved with anybody. And luckily, I'm not really that attracted to very many people. I'm kind of picky. So, you know, the lightning bolt thing has only happened to me about four times in my life. And every time it happens, I think, wow, this is probably never going to happen again. And then it happens again. So I know it can happen. And I'm hoping next time I feel a lightning bolt um, connection with, with a man, a beautiful man, I'm hoping that it can be body, mind, heart, and soul because it tends to be mostly body <laughs> when that lightning bolt thing hits. It's like a kind of a spiritual and a sexual thing, but maybe the emotion and the mental is not fully there. Um, so I need to become more available to myself on all those levels and radiate that out so that I can attract, like a magnet, I can attract a man that's equal to me and that's not freaked out by the nudity and not freaked out by my sexuality and not freaked out by me, but actually attracted to that and inspired by it in his own, whatever his own thing is. So this is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, and you're listening to a song that I wrote. Thank you. 
Moody me, many me's, evoking seas. Vice set me free, rocking the paradox, unlocking authenticity, dancing in this synchronicity. Intertwined, unwinding lines of time, holding back a void dance. Tuning in the tracks of what I seem to stack, persistently resisting a full life. Embrace, embracing this space, not running away. Insight lights the way, despite fear, enjoying tantric kissing. Fishing dark water self, searching through deep doubt, sailing with the bright star. You are, you are, you are. Power tripper, soul ripper, cookie dough, doorknob spin. Freeze where you end up, rack it back early. Self-indulgent, overrate, underrate. It's all a beauty contest. Their ego wounds haunt me, taunt me. Dare me to express outward. Shadows lit up, on and on, circling up. Bloodlines of DNA, melt this away. Cracked branch, ready to launch. Passionate lunch. Hunky dory, crunchy munchy. You teach me, ancestors, I honor you. I choose you to show me, plant me, stand with me. I love and forgive you, me, we. Lightning seed of green, eyes on rising steam. Healing really does reveal the dreams. Authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow. Let this truth show, rooted in youth glow. Beginner's mind, loving the tide lines. It should be fashion to be, honey, be passionate. Off that tower with the flowers. Bittersweet, but mostly sweet. Nectar life. All worth this path, a road less traveled. Cut away the doubt in this drought of passion. Now with big, big, yummy honey dripping. Trip to sensuality, spirituality, duality, non-duality, exploring all aspects. Eucalyptus sent the wind, eucalyptus sent me back. Let that big wheel go, anger takes its toll. Pyracantha bush pricks my big toe, being rolled on that metal shelf, feeling mush. Stamina I have. Growing in the knowing, show in the loving. Embracing grace, moonshone face. Intimacy chasing me, feel like it's erasing me. But no. Intimacy spacing me, now know it's loving me. Tecalote Canyon, Shannon, San Diego, honoring clarity, exploring rarity, seeing it's useless to be defensive, always trying to prove it, better to be moved by it, knowing inspiration is the station I want to be in. Limelight enjoying solitude and deep sea diving, savoring silence and soul speak, introverted extrovert as I, daring to share, circle soul tribe, no one bribed, freedom to choose, not there to lose, but sure healing the bruise wound, paradox through the door, a group for loners and they all showed up. I must confess that, yes, I bless this mess, fertile muck, lessons soul, uniting lightning. I have integrated the carrot, capiche? She dances in the moonlit stack of thunder light, inviting those of you wanting this 
Belonging. Belonging. Shannon Kringen, Goddess Cream, 2010. Hey, guess what that was? This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kringen. The guitar thing you just heard was me. A few years ago, my friend and I recorded me playing guitar, goofing around on a guitar and going, do 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 you know, doing the twangy guitar thingy, Mick Jagger. So that was fun. So I hope you enjoyed the mix. Next week, I'll talk more. I hope my throat feels better next week. So that was a mix of different musical things and some spoken word stuff that I recorded and Howl and Hobbit. Uh, doing the Goddess Kring song and Claxton Kent and I performing and I'll see you next week on Goddess Kring, Shannon Kring and Radio. Please write me with questions or comments. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Goddess Kring Radio. Shannon Kring. Goddess Kring. Shannon Kring. Goddess Kring. Goddess Kring Radio. Goddess Kring. 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 Goddess Some spoken word stuff that I recorded in Howl and Hobbit. Uh, doing the Goddess Kring song and Claxton Kent and I performing. And I'll see you next week on Goddess Kring, Shannon Kring and Radio. Please write me with questions or comments. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Goddess Kring Radio. Shannon Kring. Goddess Kring. Shannon Kring. Goddess Kring. Goddess Kring Radio. Goddess Kring. 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 Be
begone, Polly be gone, Polly be gone. Tether no more, tether no more, more, more. Open the new door, open the new door, open the new door. Have the courage to shut the old door and open the new door now. Crumple still skin, crumple still skin. Amazed at the orange mont, crumple still skin. Stripe there, volt this, volty rinsing it off. Undulate morph melded, zoom away, zoom away. Crumple still skin. Let's go.